Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Grace. Make sure you definitely subscribe down below. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm finally doing an updated jewelry collection for you guys. You guys have literally been asking for this for so long. So I'm doing it. I filmed this video actually like a few months ago like at the very beginning of 2020 but I've actually gotten so many new pieces and I've actually also gotten a new like jewelry organizer and everything so I thought I would film an updated one of these for you guys I'm gonna show you guys kind of my jewelry setup and then I'll go through all the pieces that I have let's get on into it so basically this is my jewelry I organizer I keep it right here and the lighting is really bad since the lights coming this way so I'm gonna just move it so I can show you guys it better but I keep it right here on my vanity where I get ready so it's super easy to access okay so I moved the camera back a little bit and I'm bringing my jewelry organizer just like forward more so I can show you guys the pieces a little bit better so I'm just gonna have it kind of like this I guess it's the best way I can do it this is my jewelry organizer I got it from Amazon and let me just show you what it looks like like that so basically i'm gonna start on the top and work my way down so how i kind of organized this was on the top i did all my necklaces then in my middle kind of row right here i did all my like bangle bracelets and then down here i put all my rings and then i put all of these kind of like random like beaded bracelets and that types of things little like strappy ones and then on the very bottom it has kind of a little dish section so right here i don't have too many earrings so I keep my earrings down here and a few just like random rings that I don't really wear too often. And then on this side, I have a little like tray that I had already had. So this can be like removed. It didn't come with it. Um, but I just have a bunch of like random gold rings that I got for my senior prom when I needed some gold rings. And I'm going to actually start with what I'm just wearing to just show you guys these pieces real quick that are like very daily pieces for me so to start my necklace is from Sophia. you guys know i always wear this it's just my custom name necklace and this is in silver so i literally always wear this necklace and then these hoops are from it's called like pivari or something i got them off of amazon and i will leave i will link down below as many pieces as i can find but they're just kind of like thick hoops i actually got ali these for her birthday because i'm obsessed with mine and they were really inexpensive which is so awesome and then in my doubles i just have a stud from claire's it's like a sterling silver one and then in my cartilage i have a little hoop up there so those are my earrings and the same on this side going into this i put my rings on here so you guys could like see how it looks when i have them on here but i will go through those so on this side is all my silver jewelry and then on this side is all my gold jewelry obviously as you can tell and so starting with my necklaces I have this which is from rain plus bow it's so gorgeous and I actually have a code if you guys want to check them out and their necklaces have such an awesome meaning which is just like so fun I have another necklace from rain and bow just looks like this it's like a little like heart but I really love to stack these two together it looks super cute then next to that is my like chain I always wear like kind of like a choker and this is from Anna Luisa it's just kind of like a little beaded chain in silver following that is another choker that I used to wear all the time but it kind of gave me a weird rash I think so I had to like stop wearing it in the shower and I really like wearing my pieces like my necklaces I like not having to take them off but this one's just from Pure Vita it's their little like coin necklace and I think this looks so cute it's literally so cute once you're once it's on but it's just one of those necklaces I definitely wouldn't recommend to shower with this little necklace right here I actually got from a little boutique but it's just a little dainty butterfly necklace and I think it looks so cute um again it's just one of those necklaces you could either wear like just as a cute little dainty necklace or you could layer it and i used to layer this one all the time and it looked so cute i think it's really adorable and it was just from a boutique called apricot lane this necklace i kind of get a lot of questions on this one from anna luisa and this is just my birth stone coin necklace i get a lot of questions about this cross and i thought it would look cute super cute paired like on this necklace because this necklace already has little gold accents so i just put it on there but i don't know where the cross is from because i'm pretty sure it was like my mom's or my grandma's or something so i just have it paired on this anna luisa necklace but i don't know where the cross is from but it's a really basic cross so you could probably find a similar one next necklace is also a little cross necklace that i actually just got from target a few years ago and i used to wear this one all the time it was like my staple but i 
rarely wear this anymore, but it's sterling silver. I just need to clean it because it's looking a little rusty. This next necklace is just a little like diamond hoop type thing. I don't really wear this one too often, but this one's from Old Navy and it's just a cute little like basic one if you needed something kind of cute and diamond-ish. Then I have my Kendra Scott that I used to wear all the time. It was just the white one and Cameron actually got me this. But the thing I don't really love about Kendra Scott's is they're made from brass so they rust which it's kind of annoying because you have to like take it off every night and then it still eventually wears down and for the price I feel like these should definitely be like sterling silver or something because I've gotten cheaper necklaces that are sterling silver and they're just better quality so I'm probably not going to end up purchasing Kendra Scott again just because of that. Then this next necklace that I have is from Disney. It's just my Grace. This necklace I used to wear all the time. The little palm tree necklace. And this used to be my staple necklace. I thought it was so cute and I wore it all the time and I love that the chain is a little bit thicker. I got this actually in Hawaii so I don't know the brand of it but yeah I got it in Hawaii. The last two little necklaces that I have on the silver side I have this one that's just a locket and my dad actually got this one for me like I was probably like seven or something and he got this locket for me so I'm pretty sure we got it in like the mall or something. I have no idea the brand of it, but it's sterling silver and it's just cute little locket. Sometimes these types of like locket hearts are fun to wear on their own. And then the last one I have on this side is just my St. Christopher's and this was originally pink, but I wore it every single day and I was in the sun with it so the color kind of faded but I just put it on this like longer chain so now going over to the gold side this first necklace is a really small dainty cross and this is actually real gold and real diamonds this was my grandma's and I've had this necklace for a super long time it's just really small and dainty and it's more of like a choker fit because the chain is so tiny but I don't know where this necklace is again because it was my grandma's I got this from my friend Kendall for my 16th birthday this one I'm pretty sure is just from Charming Charlie's and it hasn't like rust or anything which is actually really surprising this next one I don't know the brand either because I got this in like Tahoe actually and it's just kind of a fun like gem heart and this is one of those, again, just more staple necklaces that could look cute if you paired it with a cute outfit. This next one is from Charming Charlie's as well. It's just kind of like an opal diamond, like opal gem, and that's that. This little gold necklace is from my friend Brooke. She actually got this for me when she was in Hawaii. It's just a little pineapple, which is so cute, but I don't know the brand of this unfortunately because she got this in Hawaii and then the last little gold necklace I have my friend Sydney actually got me for my birthday and this one's from Kate Spade and it's actually rose gold and it just has a bunch of different little charms on it so the reason I like to have this one because I don't really wear rose gold too often but I like having like a few options that way if I ever did need rose gold I at least have one necklace so I'm gonna hang those back up real quick Okay, now going into my bracelets on this little second row, I'm going to start just with all these. So these are all Alex and Ani's for the most part. Um, I'll just show you which ones I have real quick, but they're all Alex and Ani. So I have my G initial, birthstone, which is the amethyst, zodiac symbol, which is Aquarius. This little bangle is actually from Ali's mom. She got this for me when they, when they were in Mexico, so I don't know the brand of this, but it's just a cute little bangle that's like patterned and I really really like this actually it's super cute back to Alex and Ani's I have a little starfish which I got in Florida one year this is from Cameron it just says Indiana on it this isn't actually like Alex and Ani it's like off brand but it's still like super cute and looks the same and Cameron also got me this one in Disney so it's just a little Mickey ear which is super cute and then my friend Emma for graduation she got us all little grad cap Alex and Ani's which are so cute and then the last little thing I have on here is my Pandora I have a Pandora like charm bracelet and I never really wear this I honestly forget I had this because I used to collect them a lot when I was younger but then I just kind of forgot and stopped doing it but I do have a little Pandora and then going over to the gold side I have a little rose gold bangle which is actually from Kate Spade as well so I have like the little bangle and the necklace in case I ever did need some rose gold jewelry I have a little piece and then the Alex and Ani's that I have that are gold the gold ones I have found don't hold up as well as the silver ones they like 
turn a little bit more so i have this one from disney it's just the cinderella like quote a guardian angel one i have the best friend one i honestly don't even remember who has the other half of this because i got it like my freshman year of high school i have a little butterfly which is super cute a little like sand dollar one which i think i got in florida as well so the only problem with the gold ones is they just turn but if i did need gold jewelry at least i do have some so going down to this bottom row on this side i have a few kind of random beaded bracelets and stuff and then over here is all my rings i'll tell you guys where i got these from i really like this bracelet it's just a little beaded bracelet and i actually got this from apricot lane which is the same place I got the little butterfly necklace from I have this little like tie bracelet that can kind of be dressed up or like be worn casually this is from Anna Luisa and this was for the COVID-19 fundraiser and then I have this little bracelet which was actually my mom's and it's gold I almost always just wear this sometimes it comes off because the clasps need to be tightened it's just a little gold bracelet I don't know where it's from because it was my mom this was made by my aunt actually so I don't have like a store for that my aunt made it and then this one as well i don't know where it's from these like thick um cuban ice chains are so, are really in right now and this was actually my mom's so i don't know where this one was from either but it fits my wrist perfectly this one i do know where it was from this one was from charming charlie's and i think this one is so cute it's just a little like diamond tie bracelet that can tighten and i wore this one for prom actually so it's just gold but i don't wear gold too often and then i also have this one that just a little gem my friend brooke got me this on one of her trips and it's so cute so i don't know the brand of that either and then the last thing i have i don't know the brand of this one either because my friend ali actually got it for me for graduation and then going over to my rings so i have some gold rings and then i have my daily silver rings that i always wear so i'll tell you the ones that i know where they're from but some of them like all my gold ones i almost don't know where any of them are from this first little ring i always wear i actually got this in san francisco from a little boutique called bliss on pier 39 i also got this ring there as well this little ring um is from sophia i wear this one on my thumb so she just goes like that then i have my love ring and i just pair that actually with this one i think it looks super cute right there with the diamond band and then going on to my left hand i have this ring which is from tiffany's i'm not sure what this one is called actually but it just has the little tiffany and co and i wear that on my middle finger right here and a few of us in my friend group actually have this ring this little ring which is just a cute little like tie ring i actually got this my junior year and this is off amazon i have no idea the brand of it but ali and i both got these for prom because we wanted a little sparkle it was before i had like this one and we wanted a little sparkle so we ordered these off amazon and they were probably like 10 15 bucks and then the last one that i always wear is this one i've had this one for years it's just the double arrow from pure vita this one and this one i've had for literally years then going into my gold rings so i don't know where any of these ones are from actually because these were all passed down they were all like my mom's and grandma's but i will show you guys them real quick i have this little one this one was my grandma's i have this one and these are all real gold and real like diamonds and stones and stuff just a little heart and then the last little gold one that I have that was my mom was also this one. And then going to the bottom little tier right here. So this is where I keep my earrings because I take my earrings out at night. I keep my random rings down here like I showed you guys. And then I have just a few more random rings i got this one from pura vita i also have like the classic little wave ring this used to be my staple thumb ring little like diamond ring that i actually got at target my friend and i brooke both have this ring but the thing with this ring is it kind of hurt and then the few pairs of earrings that i have over here besides the ones i already showed you i have these ones which are from anna luisa and they're just little huggy hoops these are my favorite i wear them like every day unless I'm gonna wear some big ones. I wear these every day and I sleep in them. I also have these cute little like hoops and these are just from Princess Polly. Then I have my like basic diamond studs and these ones are just from Claire's from the Sterling Silver section. And then the last little pair of earrings that I have right here 
are from Sofiel and they're also a pair of Huggies and they're just silver and they have cute little diamonds. That's all my jewelry that I have to show you guys. Okay you guys, that's going to be it for my jewelry collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this. You guys have been asking for this for forever so if you liked it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It definitely helps me out and if you're new, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on my videos. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays and also make sure you're following me on my Instagram but that's going to be it for today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!